How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we're doing quite something special. Okay, so before we get started with this, let me explain a few things, guys. Now, before we're getting started here, I want to just explain. We are going to be talking about not just the thing you see on the screen here, which is old news, which we talked about yesterday. It's not really old news, but it's interesting news. Let's just say it that way, okay? We're not just talking about this. We're talking about something else, which you guys may enjoy. Now, it's actually this right here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we have our first leak type of deal going on, guys. Or, it's a rumor for now. We can't really say it's an actual leak because um, we don't know yet. We don't know. So, we'll get started with the actual uh, thing right here. So, that is, this was said to be by Nitro Flame on Twitter here. He said he found these on 4chan uh, with the, you know, on the por forums there or like the forums there or whatever you would call them. Uh, and I know that it probably is fake, just like how other starter leaks we've seen this year were fake. I just want to know your thoughts on it. Honestly, seeing these starters leaks uh, leaks gets me even more hyped for Generation 8's real starters. Yeah, that's if these are fake, because we don't know yet. We'll have to investigate a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the first thing I want to say is, these ones are very interesting in what they look like and what they might actually be. So let's get started with the actual images themselves and the Pokemon themselves here in this quote-unquote leak here. But this is a rumor, guys. This is a rumor. Take this with a, you know, take this with a pinch of salt. Take this with a pinch of salt. So, I'll just remove my face cam for a second so you guys can see the actual thing here. So, let's start with the first thing here, guys, which is this one right here. This is a, apparently, fairy grass type. This is a fairy grass type, and it's a little bunny. Now, I've got to say one thing, right? The art style is very peculiar, right? It's very peculiar of an art style. Now, this could all be made by Barbie Elite. Now, Barbie Elite, I, if you've made this and you're watching this, you know I, I, I figured you out that this is you. Because I know Barbie Elite does a lot of these fake, you know, fake starter leaks and whatnot. And they usually make these fake starter leaks based on what they see from, like, you know, what's happening in the community. Now, the thing, though, is not a lot of people are talking about the rumor that I mentioned yesterday about the UK and also this right here. This right here. People aren't talking about this. This was sent to me originally, uh, like, a long time ago. This was sent to me by one of my viewers, and he told me about this whole, you know, concept. So, I've got to say, Barbie Elite, if you made this, well, I mean, you're a sketchy little boy. You're a sketchy little boy, or you're a sketchy little group of people. So, either way, it could be just that this was made by Barbie Elite. I hope not, but who knows. Now, what do we have here? Well, we have a little fairy-type, grass-type rabbit. Now, first of all, what do I think of its design? Well, I think it's adorable. It genuinely looks Awesome. I love it. I think it's like the perfect design for a just, I don't know, a freaking rabbit, dude. It looks adorable and cute and tiny. And I can only imagine what this thing would turn into when it evolves, you know, into its full stages. Now, the first drawing, which is the main one, which is up here, the first one is decent. Like, it looks good. It doesn't look like it's, you know, it's incorrectly drawn. It looks like a Pokemon. And, you know, its style is just, you know, kind of right on point. Now, What's really interesting is when you look at the, the hack part of it, right, you'll notice that the tail is still far down, the same way it is on the side, you know, side uh, picture of it, which is good because that shows us that they kind of thought of the same concept where the, its feet are actually, you know, where it's standing on its toes all the time. So it isn't actually standing, you know, full feet down, but on its toes, ready to, you know, you know, be quickly running away from any predator and that sort of stuff, right? You know, like normal rabbits, you know, you're, they're on their toes, ready to run, you know. So that makes sense. I just said you know several times, jeez. Now, another thing that I noticed here is, like, they kind of did this, uh, I guess this is the, the tail, I guess that's the tail or something? Oh, no, that's gotta be the ear. I guess that's the ear right there, uh, being chopped into half, which is really weird. Um, they also show you here how the, um, the ears would work, kind of to cover its face when it sleeps, which is adorable. I think that's a, such a cool concept that this is real. Uh, of course, this could be fake, guys, keep in mind, this is all just rumored for now. Um... Here we see the flower in its, uh, you know, at the top of its head is used to, uh, I guess, uh, sp like, push out, I guess, poison or sleeping powder or whatever it may be. That's what it uses right there. Now, again, I don't know about this text right here. If this is good, like, if this is pr correct Japanese. If you do know this, please let me know, guys. Because I have no clue if this is good Japanese, bad Japanese. Because I guess just based on the, the Japanese, you could tell if this is fake or real. Um, so, please, if you do know, and if you can tell from these, please let me know. I'll link it down below as well so you guys can check it out. I'll link to my tweet as well. So, yeah, but, um... Either way, like I said, though, uh, that design, that, that drawing up there, that looks cool, like an interesting concept for how it's, you know, a little flower works. Uh, what else? Well, we've got the, uh, you know, the little bunny down here kind of uh, smelling some flowers, and the head size is actually still the same. See, I, I feel for a second like, oh, is the head size like a little bit like out of proportion? But no, it's, it's still the same size as up here, though the actual outline for the head is a little bit more, you know, wonky around this one. Other than that, though, it looks fine. The flower it's smelling is the same flower it's got on its head. Um, as for its smiles over there, it looks adorable. It looks like a Pokemon, you know, with the sad eyes, the, the angry face, the happy face, you know. It's a little bit of a nice mixture. And then the final one over here looks very cool. Like the side, you know, it's kind of looking to the side. Uh, looks great. So overall, the grass type looks 
great in my opinion. It looks it looks like a Pokemon should look like. The design is really good. It's not horrible. It's just on point. But that's that one. So let's go to the next one. Now this is our fire type. Now I'm not sure this one was what typing. They gave it a fire rock typing. For this one. Now, this is a horse, right? So, this would play into the, the theory that the whole, uh, all the fire starters are based on the uh, Chinese uh, zodiacs, right? Which, if this was actually a, a you know, a fire uh, a rock type, I think, or yeah, it was a rock type. Uh, this actually is that. That would be awesome. So, first things first, right? The design. Let's talk about the design. So, we'll just get rid of my face real quick. And there you go, guys. So, the first one up here is the actual, you know, uh, general body, which looks great. It looks adorable, really cute. It had its its face is a little bit like weird though. It looks a little creepy sometimes, but overall though the design is great though. I really think it looks awesome. Um, you know, it just overall looks like a cool design, just straight up. Uh, as well with the tail here, we've got like I'm not sure what that is though. Is that a tail? Is that a hoof? What is that? They always show something being cut off here. I'm not sure what that cut off thing even is, but uh, we got a side view here. You know, the horse kind of walking or the Pokemon kind of walking on its side. And here from the back, this is how kind of the the view looks like when you're in battles. You know, in old Pokemon games, it's kind of like the the behind the the Pokemon view. You know, when it's a battle. So that looks overall great. It looks fine to me. Uh, here we have. Um, I'm not sure what that is supposed to be right there. I guess that's part of its. Uh, and that's not really a tail, but I guess it's part of, part of it, so I'm not really sure what that is really showing. Right here, we see how it's, like, charging forward and hitting into stuff. Uh, we've got it smiling, we've got it angry on the, you know, to the right, and again, facing face forward, you know, kind of a stale face. Um, and none, it doesn't have, like, a sad face, I guess, which is, I guess, this one, but I don't know, it's really weird. And over here, we've got it jumping over a fence, which looks great. Overall, it's a good-looking Pokemon, and it also is a, uh, you know, it would be Fire Rock type, which I'd be fully on board for, guys. Uh, if it's a Fire Rock type, let me see. Yep, Fire Rock type. That'd be great. So, of course, the final one, which is the most sketchy one, the one that gets me a little bit iffy, because the first two, I'm like, okay, these two, I, I can see this realistically being a thing, but... The last one is a little bit sketchy, and also, the horse one kind of reminds me of a Fakemon I've seen, but the Fakemon is actually a goat and not a horse, so I don't know. But also, as you guys know, Game Freak actually does take some Fakemon designs into the into consideration when they make their own Pokemon. I actually found some proof for this a while back, and if I manage to find it again, because I kind of lost it over time, if I find it again, I'll actually let you guys know. But either way, let's continue with this, guy. So, next one is the Gecko, um... The Trico water type looking uh, little boy. So this is uh, the Gecko, guys, and look at this thing, right? So first things first, right? This thing looks like it's supposed to be a, you know, a Trico. It looks like a Trico, right? It looks so much like Trico. The fa the head shape and all that looks like Trico. I think if, if this was actually a thing, people would call this a Trico ripoff. Is that a problem? I don't think so. I think it looks cool overall. I I'm kind of okay with it. So, let's start with what it first of all is. So, it's a gecko. It's like, you know, a little a little lizard, whatever you want to call it. So, you know, just kind of jumping around on the water. Uh, but it looks adorable. I think the design looks really cool. Uh, I love Trico. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. So, having another gecko Pokemon, I'm on board for that. But it genuinely does look like Trico, though. Like, no joke. It genuinely does. Um, over here, you can see how its tail works. Basically, it, it hits with its tail. Uh, uses it as a way to, you know, d a defense mechanism, I guess. Uh, what's really cool here is actually, I love how they did this, guys. Like, look at this, right? They show how the tail is kind of like, it isn't all, like, really there. It's kind of like not really attached. It's kind of just there temporarily. But then, you know, if, um, you know, if somebody grabs its tail, it can just detach it and a new one will grow out. You can see it right here. Uh, also, I love its face design. You know, it's got like, um, you know, sad, happy, angry, etc. Looks great. Uh, and of course, over here we can see kind of how it spouts out some poison. Which I guess it would make it a water poison type, which would make sense. It's, you know, a gecko, I guess, makes sense. You know, a little lizard, th lizard -y thing, whatever. Um, but overall, great design. Uh, it is a gecko, so it does look a lot like, uh, you know, Trico at first glance. It really does uh, look a lot like Trico. So, yeah, guys, I don't know. But it is a water poison type. Now, grass, wa uh, grass fairy, fire rock, water poison. Now, why is this important, guys? Well, it connects back to this, guys. It connects back to this. Now, what are we talking about right here, guys? Well... Let's get into it. So, first things first, guys. Um, let's look at these uh, these Pokemon right here. So, short info concerning that episode. And this again describing what I talked about yesterday. If you guys want to see what I did yesterday, guys, please watch it. It's about uh, the next Pokemon region where it might be. But let's talk about this right here, guys. So, you guys may remember this from yesterday's video. Now, this is the theory about what the next Pokemon might be, like you know which typings or whatever, uh, and what they might you know, actually be. And what I'm thinking is. This theory could be slightly correct, but I think the typings are a little bit uh, misconstrued. Now, what he said right here is that. Um, let me see. Uh, I'm not finished yet. So he says here, Generation 6 was uh, Water Dark, which is, I guess, fair enough. Then Fire Psychic and Grass Fighting. Gen 7 was Water Fairy, Fire Dark, and go Grass Ghost. So what he thought was that Generation 8 was going to be Water Poison, 
Fire Fairy, Grass Dark. Now, he did get those two a little bit twisted because in this image right here, because he got the Water Poison right, so he's not wrong about the Water Poison here. That one's pretty much correct, I guess. Uh, pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much correct. So, that one's correct, but what about the other ones? Fire Fairy, well, that's not really the right one, right one here. The Fire Rock instead is the one we have here, and Grass Fairy is the one we have instead here, which would somewhat work with this theory because I guess you could say that the, the Grass Pokemon right here is a little bit, like, you know, I guess you could say it's feminine, but I'm not really sure if that's, you know... The case, maybe one of these other Pokemon is feminine once it fully evolves, because we only see the the first stage evolutions. I mean, remember, remember Popplio, guys. Popplio was fully like looked like a like a male little Pokemon, but once it evolves, it's Primarina. It looks very much like a female Pokemon. So, what I'm trying to get across is. There's hard to, it's hard to tell from just the starter Pokemon if that's actually the case, because it could be different. It could be that, you know, the Grass Fairy here is going to be a really, you know, like a really bulky big boy, you know, big, big, thick boy. Uh, and that the Fire Rock type is going to be, you know, a sleek, you know, horse, like a beautiful female horse. And then the Water Poison is going to be like, a, I don't know, or I guess the Water Poison would be the one that would be... Um, Sneak, sneaky, I guess? No, would it? Would it be sneaky again, or would it be bulky? I think that would be the bulky one. So I think that would be the bulky one. The horse would be the, uh, the fire horse would be the, uh, the, the stealthy one, and the grass type would be the, uh, feminine one. So, that would make sense to me, but, um, that's just about it, guys. So, overall, the designs, what do I feel about them? I liked them. I actually really liked them. I know a lot of people just don't like these sort of designs. I love the gecko, I love Trico, and I would love to see a water type esque looking Trico type clone. I'm okay with that, honestly, because I think that would be really cool. But keep in mind, this is most likely not real, but it's a good way to kind of get us started into this hype and this kind of, you know, kind of wavelength for Generation 8. I am very excited, excited for Gen 8. I'm super excited for it. You guys already know this. I've already told you a million times. I'm super excited for Gen 8, guys. So this is definitely a good way to get me excited and me into the kind of flow of talking about these things. Because I love talking about rumors, leaks, uh, you know, scans, etc. Whatever it may be, I love talking about it. And I'll keep getting videos to you guys every single day. So just keep that in mind. But either way, what else do we have today? Well, this is about it, guys. This is about it for today. We have other news that I'll be, you know, doing separate videos for because it'll be just too long if I made this one, you know, all of it into one video. But uh, I've got other th content coming soon, guys. If you did enjoy this video, then drop a like down below. And thank you so much for watching. My name's been Ruffled Rowlet, and I will catch you all in the next one. Have a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.